Uh, with IFSS, when my worker come out to me, we done um, a jigsaw, and the jigsaw was uh, a little boy, right? And then all the different pieces was um, hunger, um, education, uh, keeping him warm, keeping him tidy, all these pieces yeah. was there. And they'd be like, right, did your addiction affect his education? Did your addiction affect his hunger? Did it yeah. affect him keeping him warm? And you know, pouring that, um, you know, instead of just talking about it. And actually and, seeing it. Yeah, and it, it um, that really worked for me, that did, yeah. Like, IFSS look at things in depth. They they actually take time. Like, to me, my, my IFSS worker took time to get to know me yeah. rather than just what she had seen written down on the paper. Like, on paper, I was remo- at birth. Yeah. But then you meet me and... That's it, yeah. Everything sounds worse when it's written down yeah. on the paper, doesn't it? So do you think it really helps? But there's lots of people I talk to about social work. They say the issue is trust with a social worker. There's worries you can have massive, children. Take it. Yeah. Massive yeah. trust. And even even though I had the best co- outcome possible, baby came home and everything, like me and my social worker didn't have a, a very easy ride in the beginning because I was scared. I'd never been involved with social services, not through my mum, not through anything else. I didn't know what was happening. So, like... Because I didn't know in black and white that my child was coming home, they made me anxious. And like that didn't work for me because that was making me ill. Well so done. having that goal-based approach, do you think that would be really effective? For yeah, it was. Yeah, because like it's it's your mindset to something then. Like like with when you've got social services involved, like I suppose you've sort of got targets to achieve because you've got to jump through the hoops they put there. But when you're setting your own goal, like, you don't have to set, set something that's not realistic. You can set something as simple as, you know, I'm going to go to a beach with my child. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and you know because you've set them, they're realistic. Yeah, and then it makes your recovery more achievable. Yeah, right? because there's not someone saying, oh, you've got to do this. It's, oh, we can do this. Like, they talk through it, so it's not, like, not even that you're on your own. Like, we can do this. Yeah. You You know then... This, you'd be all on the same path then. So IFSS, I'm on the same path as a social worker. We all are looking at the goals that IFSS sets out for yeah. the and we all know what I need to do and what what will what will happen once once you achieve. Like these I think goals. if IFSS weren't involved in either of our cases, like there'd be very little that the social worker would actually know about our drug use and our feelings yeah. because. Like what marks like to what marks a red flag to social services may not to IFSS because they understand about the addiction and how it all like goes together. I relapsed once uh, four years old and I went to Wakada, filled out the forms to get myself on the prescription and on the back of the forms it says, um, what's your child's name? Are, the, are social services involved? If if so, are they on the child protection register? Now, that's what scared me, and that's yeah. what made me um, stop there Run. and walk away, Run. right? Yeah. So if social services, and this is what we're doing now with INSC, we, we do when we're gonna try and change these forms and that, to, that's the, that's the starting point. When a parent goes to a drug agency to get help, they need to grip them with both hands and say, look, we won't punish you. Well done for reaching out for the help that you need. Yeah. But a lot of people have gone and asked for help. And yeah. And had their children removed. And then that that's the starting point for them to spiral downwards because you've basically taken their life away from them. Like, yeah, their life's already spiralling. But if you pull it early, like when you go and ask for help, like... They shouldn't be punished. They should be rewarded for asking for help because it's a massive thing. Like, it really yeah. is. It is. Like, I don't know, like, with a lot of cases, I think if the IFSS workers weren't there, a lot of us would not even have our children because, yeah. I don't know, it's like they put our words into massive, like, what social workers understand, but put it across like from our point of view.
Well, what you've done, no. What, you you scared <coughs> of you no one, then you. So yeah, absolutely. If a social worker don't know you, and they, you know, they're not gonna. If they don't know, or if you've, um, you know, kicked your addiction, or you you trying to kick, kick your your addiction, and the social worker don't know about that, they're gonna be like, they they don't know if you've uh, improved your lifestyle. Yeah. So I'm not gonna risk putting the child back with you. But with IFSS telling them they have improved their lifestyle. Like, look at this to this. Like, yeah. Like, say, can't, can't get out of bed when his son is waking her to get him to school every day on time, dressed, clean, breakfast. Do, do you know what I yeah. mean? Like, th- it might not even be, like, look like a lot, but it is, like... For for you not to ne- wake up and need a substance like that was my biggest thing about getting off everything was I don't have to rely on anything to get out of bed I just rely on myself like from there to there huge no. yeah yeah you know and I you know I love my boy so much I was willing to ask someone else to look after him Until well, you know, yeah do you know because it killed me do you know like not being able to do do things for them because I was I was ill. I felt so guilty. Or oh, having to, to take sleep. that before you could do something. Yeah, with and it. then knowing that twenty quid I could have been taking him out for the day yeah. with it, yeah. it, it, it's just a vicious circle, and you gotta use because otherwise they're on the set, they're spewing, and, and then, they ain't detaining themselves. And then when you ask for help, you get a judged, b you get social services involved, c you get your child removed for asking for help. So. When when someone wants to ask for help, they got no one to turn to, so they turn in on turn in on themselves, and downwards. So, largely, I think what you're saying is social services need to let mothers know that I know that you care and love about your children, and I know that in the future you're going to be capable to look after your children. But what our job should be is to get you there. Absolutely. Not, Absolutely, to get you there, ready for when your child is born or when your child comes home, that you are capable to look after them.